Hey, Math 20-2. Today we're going to determine the validity of a proof or an argument. So let's first investigate a fallacious proof. In mathematics, a fallacy is an incorrect argument in logic or deductive reasoning. All right. One of the most famous fallacious proofs is the attempt at using deductive reasoning to prove that 2 is 1. Here is that proof. Step 1, let A equal B. So that's our setup. If that's true, then A plus A should equal A plus B. We're adding A to both sides. Right. Add A to this side, add A to that side, add A to both sides. Step 3, A plus A should be 2A. So all we're doing is simplifying. Step 4, I now subtract 2B from both sides. All right? So subtract 2B from both sides. Step 5 and now it tells us, well, if that's true, um, I'm going to factor the left side. Take out a 2 from 2a minus 2b, and I'm left with a minus b, and I simplify the right side, b minus 2b is negative b. So I factored the left, I factored the left side, and I simplified the right. Simplified the right side. Step six, what's happening? Well, we're going to divide A minus B from both sides. Divide A minus B from both sides. Well, if we do that, A minus B divided by A minus B is one. A minus B divided by A minus B is 1. If I simplify then, 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 equals 1. Looks like I've proven this. 2 equals 1. Hmm. Part B. That can't be true. 2 can't equal 1. What the heck? Determine the step in which the error in deductive reasoning was made. So somewhere there is an error in deductive reasoning. See if you can spot it. I'll give you a few minutes to think about it. You can pause it and think about it. I'll tell you shortly. I will tell you this. The step in which the error in deductive reasoning was made occurred in step six. What did we do in step six? We divided A minus B. Dividing by A minus B is an error in deductive reasoning. You go back up to step one, and what did it say in step one? Step one says, let A equal B. So if I'm going to divide out A minus B, what is A minus B if they're both equal? What I'm really doing then is dividing by A minus B if they're the same. If I subtract two equal things, I get zero. What happens if you divide by zero? Oh, that's undefined. So division by zero is undefined. And we shouldn't be able to carry on the proof after step six. It should stop there because we can't divide by zero. All right. Division by zero is undefined. We can't go any further than that. Validity. In mathematics, a proof is valid if the reasoning is true in every step of the proof. We say that the fallacious proof 2 equals 1 is invalid because in one of the steps, step 6, the reasoning was not correct. We cannot divide by 0. All right. 
So even though all the other steps are correct, it only takes one improper action to make the proof invalid. In mathematics, an argument is when two or more statements or propositions are used together to form a conclusion. An argument can be valid or invalid, as in the next example. Note, although the following points regarding arguments are beyond the scope of this curriculum, it may be worthwhile to note the following. Whether the premise of an argument, whether the premises of an argument are true or not true depends on the content. The validity or invalidity of an argument is determined by its logical form. This is why in logic, validity does not necessarily imply truth. An argument can be valid but not sound, and an unsound argument is when the premises of the argument are not actually true but lead to a logical conclusion. This concept is beyond the scope of the course but may be seen in further studies if you wish to look. Let's look at example one. Consider the following arguments shown. Argument one, all women are mortal. Argument two, or a uh, second statement, Anne Irwin Young is a woman. Therefore, we come up with this conclusion, Anne Irwin Young is, a, is mortal. Argument two, some people who cough have the flu. Jaden has a cough, therefore Jaden has the flu. Determine, firstly, which argument has the error in reasoning, and secondly, explain why the error in reasoning is in the argument. Okay, so think about it. See if you can answer this one. You can pause it, or you can just wait. So argument one seems to be sound. All women are mortal. Anne Irwin Young is a woman, therefore Anne Irwin Young is mortal. That one is true. So argument two has the error in reasoning. Some people who cough have the flu. Jaden has a cough, therefore Jaden has the flu. Just because some people because some people who cough have the flu does not mean all people who cough have the flu. All right. So we can't say Jaden has a flu. He may have the flu. But we can't say for sure that he does have the flu because he's coughing. All we know is he's got a cough. Example two. I would like you to read through this and figure out what's going on. So take some time, read through this, try and answer the question, and see what you come up with. So pause it, take your time, do that, then you can come back and see what I've got. So after reading this, this is a classic example of misdirection, all right? They're um, misleading you with Bill's reading of the story and his calculations here, all right? So Bill's error in reasoning. The friends actually paid $25, not $27, for the room, plus they played, paid $2 for the bellboy, all right? So... The manager charged them 25 bucks. That's a fact, right? Manager charged them $25, not 27, like Bill says. So let's look at this. $10 each originally, 30 bucks. That's what they started by paying, All right? Then the manager charges $25 and refunds five. So the friends only paid 25 bucks for the room, not the 27, as mentioned here. The bellboy gives each friend a dollar back. 
So that's the three dollars they get back. And then the bellboy kept two dollars. So if we look what's happened, the price of the room was 25 bucks. That's what the manager charged them. And the actual refund back to the friends, each guy got a dollar, so that's three dollars. So 25 plus three is 28. And we add to that, plus the money kept by the bellboy, which is two dollars. So 25 plus three plus two is the original thirty dollars. So this is a misdirection here, okay? So that's a common mistake. So complete the assigned questions. Where you go.